at the moment we are making sure that we support Martin and the coaches um, in order to drive and build a settled international team that can be competitive at the very top end. And that's where we've been struggling really since sort of 2004. Um, and we knew that was going to be a tough task given where the team was um, in July 2008 when Martin took over. Um, and that's a building process and it's a long-term process and, and along the way we're going to have some bumps in the road. Um, and you know, the autumn, this autumn has been difficult. Actually not as difficult as last autumn when we were actually blown away last autumn. We've closed the gap on Australia and New Zealand. Probably missed, oppo missed an opportunity to, to even beat them. Um, and we've got to keep working, building the side, so that when we come back next autumn and we've got Australia, New Zealand and South Africa back here, you know, we need to take our performances on again. Um, the, the world rankings sort of tell you a, a snapshot in time of, of who's played who and who's won and who's lost. Um, I think underneath that, we've got to look at the, the processes and the, and the way the team um, and the squad of players under Martin is developing. Um, and I think that from a year ago to where we are now, um, if we had our full hand to play or to choose from, um, I think the squad going into the Six Nations and by the end of this Six Nations, um, as it was beginning to develop at the end of last year's Six Nations, um, there's no doubt you can see the, the, the core of, a, of an international side developing. In certain positions, there is much greater strength in depth. In others, we are still working on filling those holes. Um, yes, we have had difficulties this year injury-wise, particularly through the autumn. And at one point, halfway through the autumn, we had 10 props unavailable for, an, for the international side. Um, so we, we, we've had to deal with some extraordinary situations. Um, and we are continuing to build the strength in depth and hopefully finding a system that allows us to bring the quality young players into a settled international programme. And, and that balance between youth and experience has always been one of the critical factors of putting together a top quality international side. Progress was made last year and I, I still think that we have um, issues against the Southern Hemisphere sides that we have to address. Um, I do think we've closed the gap from, from last autumn, although we haven't closed it far enough um, and we have, to, we have to move it on. Um, well, I think if you look at the ball statistics, we've competed uh, set-piece-wise against the Southern Hemisphere. We've competed very much defensively. We've, we've sort of stopped the try count against this time last year, which was three or four per game down to one. Discipline, we've improved massively, um, and that was the same through the Six Nations. You know, we conceded most of our points in the Six Nations when we had people in the sin bin. We actually scrummaged better this autumn than we did last autumn, despite all the problems in, in, in that injury front. But where we still struggle a little bit with the Southern Hemisphere compared to how we did in the Six Nations was at the breakdown and in our ability to produce quick ball and therefore generate pressure in order to score tries, which we developed in the Six Nations but haven't done in, in the autumn. We have lost the turnover battle and we have lost the, the... Possibly on the back of that, that has meant that we've lost the attacking battle against the Southern Hemisphere, against Australia and New Zealand. If we fix that and keep everything else as it is, then we're, they're in, we're in a good shape. Yeah, I can understand the frustration. Um, I think everybody was frustrated with the first half against Argentina. It was a very poor first half of rugby from, from both sides. Um, and you know, the, the crowd pay their money. They have a right to, to express their views. Um, the same happened in 2006 here, actually, I, against Argentina as well. Always with criticism, there's some which is fair and there's some which is way off the mark. Um, that's just the modern, that's the way, the way it is. Um, yeah, the, you know, the performances and the results um, will attract criticism. Um, I think as long as it's, it's, it's fair and rational, 
then that's fine. But some of it hasn't been. Um, and that's something that modern day coaches and players have to deal with. You know, what we have to do is, is set a path um, around where we're going from here through until 2011 with Martin in charge. Yeah, I mean, it's been a difficult autumn, but certainly improvement on last autumn, and we're heading in the right direction.